Signs it's time to walk away from a settled relationship. I'll reveal key signs it might be time for you to walk away from a settled, miserable relationship. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially brought to you by BetterHelp. Start healing now in the description below. A settled relationship involves staying together out of convenience, comfort, or a fear of being alone, even if the relationship lacks happiness, passion, or any connection. I received countless emails from subscribers claiming they too have settled for the wrong person and relationship, saying, I'm unfulfilled in my relationship. I'm bored in my relationship. My partner doesn't stimulate me. I feel I'm plodding along in love. I was afraid to be single, so I settled. I settled for the first person who didn't reject me. I settled because I hated being single. Whilst no relationship is perfect, and if you are seeking perfection in love, well, you're in for a very rude awakening coming your way. But to settle in love is so awful when you actually break it down. Think about it. You're saying no to every other potential romantic partner on earth for this person. You're saying no to potential growth, compatibility and happiness and joy for them. You're most likely degrading yourself, making excuses, not living your best life possible for them. You're wasting your precious life and time for someone who, when you break it down, is not right for you. And maybe you are not right for them as well. It's frightening when you actually think about it, but the truth hurts. And that is why I'm making this video as alarming as possible. So what's the solution? If things are not improving and neither you or your partner are growing or improving as people individually either, you should explore walking away. The grass is always greener compared to that of any settled and miserable relationship. That's just obvious, right? Here are the signs it is time to walk away from a settled relationship. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. If you're idolizing the past, the early stages when things were better, it could indicate the current state is no longer fulfilling. Let's say, for example, you're dating a toxic person, like a narcissist. When you first met them, things were different. They love-bombed you, manipulated, gaslighted you to fall in love with them quickly. Things were so effortless, carefree, they appeared to be happy. It was all a lie for you to get to fall for them very quickly, so you're in a serious relationship with them, and that's where the mask slips. It's a honeymoon stage at the beginning, where you fall in love in a way that seems addictive, real and amazing, when in fact it's fake, immature and over the top. As time has come on, life's progressed, things have gotten into a routine, you've settled for the wrong toxic person, who once used to shower you with attention, gifts, love, and now goes distant, cold and rude who was once excited to see you, spend time together and made an effort, and now makes other plans, is inconsistent, unreliable, who was once loving, vulnerable, emotionally available, but is now out all the time, short with answers, hates your company. Life's far too short to spend it with somebody who makes you feel like you settled. And even if they're not toxic, just feeling like you're looking back to the early days and desperate for them to return is a complete waste of time. They will never return. Things will never be what they were like at the beginning once they've got you into a relationship. The honeymoon is most likely over and so is your relationship, it appears. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. Are you staying in your relationship solely because you hope things will improve someday or they'll change or actually you'll get married and have a future? It's a dangerous game to play 
and such a destructive place to be in as well. In the past, I dated a narcissist. We had a toxic relationship. I settled and stayed for the following reasons. That someday they'll grow up and mature, share the same values as me, share the same hard working ethic, have the willingness to learn to drive a car, to be more appreciative, to be more respectful, more understanding, more supportive, and share the same vision of marriage and love and so on. I stayed in a settled and miserable relationship because I believed that someday things would magically fall into place. That time was on my side. I had to work hard on my side, make more of an effort my side, become more patient, communicate my feelings more, do whatever they wanted so they could actually finally change. You name the approach, the mindset, the strategy, mentality, I tried it all and so much more. They all failed miserably and hopelessly. It was the wrong relationship, the wrong person. It was never going to work out the way I hoped. I was never going to get married with her, never have a future. But ironically, my current girlfriend had the same problem with her ex-partner. That someday he would propose to her. Someday look after her, make her feel protected, make an effort that they'd actually get married, have children and a future. But that someday with him never came. Hence why myself and she walked away. And that's why we actually found each other. Making it all worth it in the end. Walk away if you're only staying for someday, because that someday, most likely, is never going to come. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for, and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing now with BetterHelp. If you're stuck in a cycle of repeating the same arguments or issues without resolution, that could be draining and a sign your relationship is settled and not getting any better. It's Groundhog Day. You wake up, they're there, you know exactly what they're going to say, how they're going to behave and what's going to happen. It triggers and upsets you, gets your back up, you bark at them, snap at them for doing the same annoying thing they always do. Or worse, they keep making the same mistake. They keep hurting you and the relationship overall. And the arguments happen. The screaming matches, fights, bickering, which escalate and get worse and worse. Then you're both exhausted. You don't leave or walk away because you hope and pray that again someday they're going to understand you. They don't leave or walk away because they too have settled. Well, you both have settled. Then you kiss and make up, and if you're lucky, we'll have a short period of time of love and reconciliation until again you wake up and history repeats itself again. They say a nasty, rude comment, hurt you, upset and trigger you. They've not learnt from that massive argument you had previously, which left you drained and miserable. So you snap back at them and the arguments occur and you're back to square one again. You're back to your settled, miserable relationship. In my previous toxic relationship, I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I argued with my partner on a daily, sometimes hourly basis. It was so toxic and bad we couldn't even speak on the phone without things getting really heated and out of hand completely. Now, can you resonate with that situation? Does that sound like your situation? Is it the same old problems, the same old things, and nothing is changing or getting better? If so, you should walk away ASAP. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comment section below.
I assumed through reading books, lectures and extensive research and working on the SCG show would have made me a bit of an expert for sure when it came to successful and unsuccessful relationships. But since meeting my girlfriend, who's the love of my life, I can safely say I've learned more about relationships since I've actually started dating her. And the facts are relationships should never be about settling and just giving up being single, just going for the first person you meet. It's about personal growth, both sides. You strive to improve the overall quality of each other's lives. It's about expanding your emotional maturity, both sides. You grow up and become adults, then one day spouses, parents, grandparents, etc. It's about building trust and vulnerability, both sides. Sharing your open, honest secrets, flaws and insecurities. It's about improving yourself by adopting healthier habits and routines, inspiring each other to be better. It's about both making an effort. It's not a tip for tat as such, but it's about stepping out of your comfort zone and also doing more to make them happy too. It's not about you or them only, it's about the relationship. It should come as no surprise, you get absolutely none of this with the wrong person, a toxic person in a settled, miserable relationship. If you literally cannot resonate with what I've listed, do yourself a favor and save your romantic life and future by deciding to walk away, doing the work, healing, and instead finding the right person.